Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video is going to detail how to generate bar charts uh, through IBM uh, SPSS statistics. Uh, like in the previous videos where we've been generating charts, uh, this video is going to concentrate on the employee data set, uh, which is available through the samples uh, folder uh, that comes uh, comes along pre-packaged with the SPSS. Yeah? So just a quick overview, the variables that we're going to be interested in uh, is the gender variable, the job category variable, uh, and possibly uh, the, the minority variable as well. Uh, when we're generating bar charts, uh, it's important that the variables that we use are measured at the nominal or the ordinal level. Okay? Uh, that's a that's a that's a good rule of thumb. We usually when the when the variables are measured at the uh, interval or the ratio level of measurement, defined as a scale variable in SPSS, we normally do histograms uh, for those types of variables. Uh, so the variables we're going to concentrate on are gender, job category, and minority, and maybe previous experience or something like that. Okay. So if I want to generate a bar chart to actually have a look at the distribution associated with gender. Uh, once again, what we'll do is we'll go to the drop-down menu, which uh, is the graphs menu. Okay? We'll choose legacy dialogues. And from legacy dialogues, we'll choose a uh, bar chart. And there's a number of options that we have available to us. There's a simple bar chart, a clustered one, and a stacked one. So actually, at this stage, what we'll do is we'll just choose simple. And actually, simple is the one by default that should come up. Uh, so we're going to choose simple. Uh, the data in the chart area is summaries for groups of cases. Okay? So let's just go with the default so far. So we're going to say define. Uh, we get this pop-up window, uh, which asks us to, to define what type of chart we want with respect to the vertical axis. N of cases means that the vertical axis represents the number of cases. We could change the vertical axis to represent percentage of cases. We could have a look at cumulative frequencies. And we could also have a look at uh, percentage cumulative frequencies. But for this particular example, what we'll just concentrate on is that the vertical axis represents the number of cases. Okay. Now, the horizontal axis is defined to be the category axis. So what we'll do is we're just going to take the gender variable and we're going to put it in the category axis. Okay. And that's it done. That should generate a bar chart for us for the gender variable. So let's hit OK on that. So we're going to hit OK. The output window appears. And you can see that what we have here is we have a bar chart for the gender distribution. We have females, we have males, there's just slightly over 200 females, there's slightly over 200, maybe approximately 250 males. Yeah. Uh, once again, like in previous things, it'd be nice to put a title on our chart. So if we double click on the chart, the chart editor comes up. If we go to options, okay, so we'll just drop this down here. Okay. Uh, if we go to where is our options here? We'll just get rid of that there. Okay. So here's our chart editor. Where are my options? The options window doesn't seem to be showing here. We'll just try that once more. Okay, so we're in our bar chart. We'll double click on it. Our options seems to be showing up at the top here. I'll drop down and go for title. Put title in. And what we'll call this is, this is a bar chart, it's a bar chart uh, of gender, of gender, yeah. Okay. Uh, we could also, if we wanted to, uh, we could change the axis here on the left hand side. Instead of going up in increments of 100, we could go up in some other defined increment uh, level. Let's double click on that axis. Uh, so what we'll do here is we're in edit mode. We'll click on these values here. Double click on them. We get some options here. So let's go into scale. Uh, instead of the increment being 100, we could actually set the increment maybe to be maybe to be 20. Okay, and hit apply. And actually, what we can see here now is that actually the minimum value here should be zero zero the maximum value here should be 200 
and we apply that to them to our scale. And we get something like this. Now that's pretty overcrowded with respect to that particular axis, see what I mean? Uh, but still, you can see that we can actually change the, I suppose we can change the scaling and the size of the, the width of the increments uh, by actually just double clicking on the chart itself. Okay, let's have a look at another different type of chart. Okay? Let's go back into graphs, uh, legacy dialogues, bar chart. Okay? Uh, let's continue with simple. Okay? Uh, and let's have a look at the percentage of cases. So we'll generate the same chart, but this time for, we'll get rid of the gender, we won't use gender. We'll use maybe employment category, and this time the output is going to be based off percentage of cases. So once again, let's hit OK on that. And what we get here is we get our output. What's clearly obvious here is that clerical officers uh, are the majority of the job category within this organization. Not too many custodials, although there are more managers than custodials within this particular organization. Once again, if you want to put a title on the chart, we double click on the chart. Uh, options is coming up here. Sometimes it comes up around the chart editor here. Okay? But options are here. We click title. That allows us to put a title in on our chart. So here's our chart here. We put a title. Once again, this is a bar chart. And it's a bar chart for job description. Okay. Uh, let's close that down there. And we'll put that one here, and we'll put paste letter, job description. 